Yeah. Okay. 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 We're live. All right, folks. All right, uh, good, folks. Evening. Uh, good evening. Welcome, Welcome to FMA discussion. discussion. This is episode, episode 71. 71. And this is tonight is part two, is part featuring two. Maestro Ray Galan. And, and uh, Master Ray, and who did you bring with you? Ray, who did you bring with you? It's uh, Kieran. Kieran from uh, ANU. Hello. Okay. Hey. Well, thank you okay, for coming. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming. My pleasure. Okay. So, okay. so I just want to recap, want to recap um, the first episode. Um, the first which, episode. For those who did not watch, those who did not I, watch. I, yes. I, uh, you watch it. Uh, amazing uh, interview. Amazing interview. And I've been doing these for close to a year. Close to a year. And Master Ray, and Master Ray had the quote had the of the quote year of the year. And those who you watch, you know what I mean. You watch, you know what I mean. He was asked, "What was, was his top priority?" His top priority. And his answer was, and "His answer was." Learn the fundamentals. Learn the fundamentals. Practice fundamentals. Practice fundamentals. And apply the fundamentals. Apply the fundamentals. Was a big, big hit. Big, big hit. So. Can you tell that's my phone? It's only for a So that being said, uh, welcome. That being said, uh, welcome. So tonight, so tonight, I think what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do is, we're gonna just maybe cover a couple things, and then you were gonna basically show us a bunch of demos. Show us a bunch of demos. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, remember I talked about the uh, balancas, but then I was demonstrating it as a solo, so I couldn't show you exactly how it happens. But uh, before we go to, into that, let me uh, recap on the alas, because the alas gives you a lot of intricacies. Okay, Maestro? Okay, Maestro? Yes. Somebody was suggesting, I mean, suggesting if you lower your volume, lower your volume we, won't hear the feedback. we won't hear the feedback. How about okay. now? How about now? Yeah, you get any feedback? Still, uh, still, still little. Still little. Not as loud though. Not as loud though. Acceptable or not? Yeah, we're gonna have to just yeah, run with it. Yeah, we're gonna have to just run with it. Mm -hmm. if, if you're watching, uh, please stop where you're watching from, and, from and if you hit the like button. Julius, I'm not sure what else like could be. Julius, I'm not sure what else could be. That's a nasty feedback. It's better if now. I lower it, I would be able to hear you. No, no, I no understood. No, no, I no understood. Okay, so why don't you yeah. go ahead? What you were saying? Go ahead. What you were saying? Okay. Uh, what I was, uh, what I wanted to do was recap the alas so that you can, you, they can see the intricacies of the of that simple form, everything behind those movements. Mm. Mm. Right. So let, let me let me recap the alas and then we'll show you the application. Okay. Sure. Sure. All right. Sounds good. good enough? Sounds good. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. We have your own. Yep. Okay. trainer too. Right. So uh, let's let move it. So folks that are watching, there's going to be a bunch of demos okay. they're going to do. Uh, well, uh, well, before we do that, uh, I'll get to this. Yeah, you know. Before we do that, remember the alas. So it's uh, six sets. So from, from the, what we call the Maharlika position, you go parry, slash, Truss, and then twist, cut, truss, then twist, disengage, cut. That's the first three. Then you repeat the mirror image of parry, slash, truss, twist, slash, truss, disengage, and cut. Okay. And you're back. So those are the six steps. So you use the uh, metal one. So what happens here is uh, when we'll see. Yeah, it's okay. When when attack comes in slowly, right? It comes in, you automatically move away from it. You can either do weapon to weapon or weapon to hand. I mean either way, this goes here and then this, this comes underneath. So this is carry boom. And 
then a plus and if you block it you just twist and cut okay so see that one okay. twist and cut see see the detail of this one pop and cut and then we have the second one boom and the same thing here we twist and cut okay and and this one okay. if they grab it you you pull disengage and cut oh nice okay Disengage and cut. So that's one side. So from the other side, it comes in. Same thing. Parry, plus, plus. If they if they parry, twist and cut. Okay. okay. And then on the other side too. No. And then if they they grab, you this you use the same thing. Pull, pull and cut. So again, if they grab, pull and cut. Okay, so those are the essentials of those uh, the movements within a last. Okay. Now the uh, okay. alas uh, gives you what we call the tagestalim or the uh, knowledge and mastery of the blade. Sure. You learn to uh, sure. make full use of it, whether it's the tip or the edge. You're making use of your weapon. Okay. Either to a thrust, to do a thrust, to do a cut, to do a cut. Or inside truss or outside truss. It doesn't okay. matter. Okay. And uh, it comes from uh, the part of Tulisan knife fighting. Now, Tulisan is a word that uh, that described in two ways. Tulisan can be an outlaw. An outlaw. Right? An outlaw. As a noun, an outlaw. And Tulisan as an adjective is, means pointed, something pointed. Okay, so, so pointed or outlaw. Uh, basically, okay. it works like a uh, you have you, you have a, a pointed weapon and an outload art. Ah, okay. That's why you okay. have the okay. Okay. Tulisan techniques. And uh, no, you know, you the and one of the things is you know how to use the weapon using target selling, but they know how to defend against. So, so when they come in, <laughs> right, you go. Out of the line of her, I'm right here. So when I parry, I don't just use my limb. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't just use the hand. I actually move away from it, do, do a counter attack, and do a flip. Okay, better. Better use the wood and not use the for one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. I don't want to destroy my TV. <laughs> so, one, two. Did you see the, the, the potato stuff? The smack? Let's do it again. Okay. Okay. So as it comes in, as it comes in, boom, immediately. Sweet. Right. You want to show the disarm close yeah, to the that, camera? That, so that, see that is one method. Right? The other okay. method is what they call war walk. It is one of Tatang's uh, favorite. So here, back. That's, that's, that's you did that. Away, you go for the joint here, then bring it back. Oh, you turn it to him. Okay, okay. Okay, and uh, in the Lucismo, in all the uh, five systems, we call it a war walk. Do okay. Now, the other one is from here. As I do this, I just go here. Mm. Okay, so basically, the first thing is get out of the line of attack, do a counter attack, so it distracts it. And from here, you can just go against the elbow, use your body, and as soon as, as soon as you have the momentum, bring it back. When you start resisting, okay, okay. Reverse the okay, energy. So that's okay. one of the applications. Okay, so uh, going back to uh, Alas, what is important is that you recognize how to use the weapon and how to defend against the weapon. I mean, once you have a knife, you'll get an advantage. But what if you don't have one? You have mm -hmm. to learn how the other guy can use it. Okay? Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> sure. All right, so uh, so you have the palestuzo, uh, which is parry, slash, thrust. And then you have the other one, which is a slash and thrust. Okay. And then you have the disengage. <clears throat> And do the same side, uh, opposite side, parry, slash, thrust, slash, thrust, okay. slash, 
plus this unit. Okay. And all the okay. in is in the six step or six set, alas. Okay. 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 Fantastic. <clears throat> So, so, all right, so that was a taste of the bandit system. Oh, okay, now, now, uh, you have any questions or queries that? Uh, uh, no, 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 I thought that was fantastic. I mean, show as much as you want because I think the folks are really gonna love whatever you, you know, whatever you show. So, you know, whatever you want to show to us, you know, the Blancas, whatever, you, whatever you want to show. I might just comment. One of the things I, I mean, I'd studied martial arts a long time before I started training with, with Ray, but that knife set was a revelation for me about how a knife really works. Mm. That, you know, the thrust mm. is immediately always followed by cuts. By you know, it's, a, a knife is so alive. Most of the applications you see in a lot of kind of static, static self-defense uh, settings. What, what we call during the head like that, go, and then mm. they stop and, mm. and then you go do your better way. If somebody knows what they're doing with a knife and they're doing these pull cuts at the same time they're doing thrusts, a lot of those techniques Good just point. are not going to work. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's something to be aware of with a knife. It's very different from a stick or empty hand or anything like that. Yeah. No force required. Just the sliding out of the blade will cut a hand or an arm. So yeah. It really changes yeah. the way things work. No. It's more revelation for me no. to realize what a knife really is. And one yeah. important thing there is that when you defend against the knife, make sure you defend and attack at the same time because that distracts the other guy. He thinks he's got an advantage because he's got a weapon. He doesn't expect you to attack. Mm. That's why as soon as soon as, as soon as soon as soon as we deflect, you know, to it, something is already coming in. Then Counter attack. I can I, I can do several hits, making sure that I parry the attack. I didn't mm. attack. I control the I control the weapon. I do I deliver another blow. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, no, I mean for sure, no, absolutely. Um, and the one that we showed you were the we call it sumpa. It's like a like a potato gun. That is when when it comes in here, you go against the back of the hand. Okay, against the back of the hand. That pressure makes him open. Makes him open of the grip. Okay, okay. Yeah. That so that way it comes here. Boom. You do you do a smack. Then boom. Hey, that's a knock knife. That's a knock knife. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a thick knife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like the knock trainers. They're very nice. Yeah, same here. I think they're fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Right, um, so that's, uh, that's the basis of ALAS, right? And then from ALAS, we have what we call the floor de lis, which is really very simple. It's actually a reverse knife grip. Uh, you know the Boy Scout logo, the floor de lis? You know the... Uh, okay. It okay. is floor de lis, right? Yeah, the, the floor de lis. Right. Yeah. So, so, so uh, we we are moving to slash, press, hook. Okay. I'll reverse. Slash, okay. Press, hook. So it's three step. Slash, press, hook. hook. Okay. Slash, press, hook. hook. Or some, okay. some people can call it rake. Slash, press, rake. Slash, press, rake. Right. Okay. So you have you have that Boy Scout logo happening. One, two, three. One. Two, three. Oh, okay. And that's oh, okay. and that is floor de lis. The, Great, uh, yeah. I think it's right. the national symbol of France, the flower that they use in France as a symbol. Okay. Floor de lis. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, again, whatever else. I mean, since now, you have your now from the floor yeah, de lis, yeah. we go what in, what we call the commandant or the venom. It is actually still the same one reverse grip. It's seven steps only. Seven steps on one so side. Uh, yeah, seven steps on one side, seven steps on the other side. When and when it happens, yeah, because it's, and I can it's, hide it's, myself. Bring your, I can minimize myself, Maestro. It'll make um, it'll make, um, it'll make the okay. screen bigger. All right. So 
So this one is the same one from the floor release. Slash, cross, hook, and follow with another slash. And then a side step, you pair with a knife, and then you attack with the knife. And pull. So that's seven steps. Again, one, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven. Now you're in the inside, so you do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can do that ad infinitum, you know, until you get the mechanics of it. Uh, most important is the way you dodge. As, as it comes in, you're out of the way, but your weapon is towards the center. Even from the other side, you're out of the way, your weapon is towards the center. So, so when did they go across? Go. Do the other side. <laughs> Come back to form. Yeah. So here. Right. So you uh, actually that's uh, those dodging. They're actually uh, the product of. Uh, the uh, principles and philosophy of Dr. Lengson of Capitol, uh, Karate Federation of the Philippines. And, uh, and that's uh, something we pick up from his teachings. So that's a uh, common dog. So now we have two forms. No, I mean, that was sweet. Again, you know, whatever else. You know, you want yeah. to show so us. Two, um, so you have the alas. Actually, three. You had the alas, you had the floor the list, and then you have the commander. Okay. And okay. I think um, that's enough for now on, on, on Tulisan. Yeah, it gets complicated after that. <laughs> it, gets, it gets complicated. When you go to Lengo de Fuego, Lengo de Fuego combines saber techniques and reverse grip techniques. And reverse, okay. In okay. one form. So you get okay. all of them. Yeah, I mean, whatever else you want to go, like longer weapons, whatever you want to show, you know, I'm sure everybody will love it. Okay. So now let's go to Balancas and we'll show you the uh, the different applications. Okay. Uh, for, okay. for our uh, staff, we'll use Padded. Yeah, yeah. Just to get it from there. Yeah. Yeah. I'll hide myself again, I'll give you guys more, uh, more, uh, more camera. More camera. Uh, get your own. Get your own. Oh, you got your own. Okay. So, so with balancas, where am I? Okay, balancas number one. It's uh, composed of five sets of techniques. The first one is bagsak salop, a drop, a thrust, a transition, a drop, a thrust. So this is straight down, straight up with a point, transition to a straight down from the inside, and back up. And you can keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Remember, uh, please note that we are using, uh, let me go the sideways. Uh, can I see the leg? Yeah. Technique, do that. So, drop, thrust, drop, thrust. Remember, it, this is defensive. As he attacks, you, you go out of range, but encounter his limb, and then do your counter attack. Take it from the other side and counter attack. So, yeah. so, so when, on the basic, basic technique of block and counter. Block, cross. Again, so block is this so we can see it. Block, block, let's start with midway. Yeah. Block, and then this is toward the center. Block, remember the COP, control the center, occupy the center, protect the perimeter. So this is protecting the perimeter and controlling 
and occupying the center, right there. Now, from the other side, the same thing, lock, pass. So, as soon as you attack, you, uh, you preempt it so that you can take care of the center. Because if you block here, no, 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 no. He's, the, he's, he's the one occupying the center, not me. Okay? So, as soon as you attack, you immediately so you can go in. If you wait too long, he's got the, he's got the advantage. So that's the basic application. That's the first application, block, block and counter. Next application, the same one, is intercept boom. As soon as, as, soon as you attack, you intercept. Right? From the other inside, same thing, intercept. So that's the intercept. And then third one is the strike back. You come in. So as it comes in, I'm here. I'm coming here. I do a side step at the same time deliver a strike. And that turns up iron. And it's one of the uh, signature techniques of Tatam because most of the time, if it's, if it's uh, not ready and you attack, you just go home. <laughs> you just deliver a trust. Okay. Now, the last one is uh, basically it's almost the same as this other one. You block. And you look like you're defenseless, he comes in with a second strike. Boom. You basically wait for him to come back. Is that the other side? So mm -hmm. you're the other. That's an attempt to me. Yeah. So I'm the other side. Yeah. Boom. Okay. So that's the first step of uh, the first step of uh, one. Now, the second set is what we call Baspaskudas, or the practice of blessing, which is set up, follow through, coup de bras. Set up, follow through, coup de bras. When we, when we say set up, it's basically I'm getting him to move his weapon here. So when I get him to move here, this is open. This whole thing is open. So from here, right back. No, sorry. Yeah. Boom. Right. If uh, if you keep if you keep contact, it becomes Ferdinand Real. Those that are doing KI, you know what Ferdinand Real is, so it is Ferdinand Real. Without without Ferdinand Real, it is just a box up, then a pass. And with the other side, I I, I intentionally make him move to the side. So this side is open. I make it move to this side, so this side is open. And that is where setup comes in. Now, to do to be to do engano on the uh, on the uh, on the bas 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 all I have to do is give him the intention of an, of an attack. I don't have to actually attack and just go. I just, I just let him see, see it coming, but along the way from here, this changes project trajectory. And boom. And time is always that way. You don't really, you don't chamber. You just from here change the articulation to the other side. From here, change the articulation to the other side. Can they see that? Is that I don't know. Hey, Dina, I can see you. How are you doing? Get, get back on screen so I can talk to you. I'm back. Okay. I'm back. All right. <laughs> right. So that's the second one, but who does? So okay. you, can, you can do a setup. Get this, get, yeah, okay. You can do a setup. Yeah. And then look yeah. and trust. Or you can do an engano, like show show your action, show but then articulate yeah. at this point. Not from okay. here. You show the action from the shoulder, articulate at the wrist, it comes in mm. and trust. Same thing from okay. here. You show the action, articulate, trust. And then, and then finish with the thrust. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
No, that was great. That, great. Uh, that's the form that's uh, one of the engaños. Oh, the, yeah, the, well, okay. the next okay. one is uh, planchada doblete, which is fairly common, which is a horizontal strike, vertical strike, horizontal strike, vertical strike. Yeah. Whenever you're fighting with someone, when they do a vertical strike, your best bet against that is a horizontal strike. Right. When they do a horizontal strike, your best bet is a vertical strike. Mm. Okay. No, and right. and uh, number four is Salok Salway, which is reverse figure eight, figure eight from, from underneath. Oh, from so underneath. Intercept, okay. Oh, okay. follow through. Intercept, follow through. Intercept, follow through. True. And the last one is the Dequerdas, which is the rebounding strikes, which is the, another form of engaño. Oh, your are trying to lower. Let me lower my screen. Let me lower my So, one, boom, I go here. So, I, I, I give my direction, then change and trust. Right? So, so the, uh, the fifth technique is one, two, three, one, two, three. So, to recap, uh, Balancas, from the start, you have the Bagsak Salok. One, two, three, four. Pas pas One, two, three. One, two, three. Planchada duplete. One, two. One, two. Salok One, two. One, two. And the cuerdas. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that's the whole of Balancas, uh, Balancas one. But again, like all the others, like I showed you in uh, in the first one, there are many hidden attributes within that. Like in Malangkas one, you saw the uh, drop, cross, and from the other side, drop, cross. But I can actually do from here. I can do number two into number three. Right? Movement here is a movement. From here is another movement. So for this transition from the outside to the inside, that is a technique in the cell. <laughs> and the same goes through with, uh, with all, all the other ones. Uh, by the way, the cuerdas, we have, uh, we have one form that is called escalera de cuerdas or the staircase. And we do the cuerdas from uh, four, four different angles, and it goes from, 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 from the hips to the opposite shoulder, from the shoulder to the opposite hip, okay. from the inside shoulder okay. to the opposite hip, from the inside hip to the opposite shoulder. And that goes one way, and it goes back the other way. So it goes from here, okay. from here, okay. goes back, inside shoulder, Outside hip, outside shoulder, inside hip, outside hip, inside shoulder. And then the last, the last two sets are yeah, inside shoulder, outside shoulder, outside shoulder, inside shoulder. Mm. And it's all, it's all the, it, it's not a, it is a drill to get you to learn the adequators, to do all this rebounding strike. So what happens is this is a fake or a stop, stop, yeah. rebound, stop, rebound, stop, rebound, stop, rebound, and back and forth. Stop, rebound, stop, rebound, stop, rebound, and then shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to shoulder. Right. Okay, no, that was uh, eight, eight and counts. Yeah. Great. No, I mean, thank you for uh, showing that. I mean, that that was fantastic. And just so that's great. Like an explanation. Okay. Mm -hmm. an explanation. So, what um, did you guys want to, or, or I can go into? I mean, if you guys want to show more, or I can go into the books. I mean, that's entirely up to you. I mean, that's entirely up to you. Well, I want I want I wanted to show you how to do the quattro canto. I wanted to show people how to do the quattro canto. Perfect. Quattro canto no. is what we, we I think we we spoke about it in the last interview. In the previous interview, we did. That is the cycle we of did. immortals, right? Because uh, 
when you introduce the student to Quattro Cantos, you play the lead, you're the mentor, mm. and you're immortal, so you don't die. Okay. Take it to bring like you. Well, we'll have he'll have fun in the first stages because uh, later on you get even. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what happens is that I prompt him into all the techniques. So I'll I'll show you how how we progress. Okay. We'll do sure, the sure. I'm gonna hide myself again. Sure. Hey, Chad, Jesse, Romeo. Okay. How we doing in prime mode? We'll get to the other yes. okay. okay. So as I feed quattro cantos, we start the quattro cantos uh, routine with a homemade tatam with his uh, with his uh, sabayan and fraction. As I come in, this side step and that's a straight line, and that's a that's a signature technique of tatam, and then he does a follow through for for training purposes and initial training purposes. We always uh, do a follow through on angles one and two only. That's for safety reason. So if I do if I, if I, if I do the first two angles, so this is one, he attacks, then I do the, the inside one, he does umbrella, he attacks. And then I, I can go on forever, we keep doing the same thing. And same thing, and same thing. Right, so we've covered two, two, uh, two angles of the, uh, two quadrants of the quadrants. Right? So that quadrant one, quadrant two. Now we add quadrant three and quadrant four. So let's go back to one, quadrant two, and then quadrant three, look, boom. See, see how he does illustration of football to get out of print, but at the same time attacking my hand and following up with number two, and then quadrant four, boom. So now we have the four quadrants. So when once he gets used to it, I go one, Two, three, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Four. There is no sequence anymore. What what you're trying to do is get it to be conscious of where the weapon is coming from, where the attack is coming from, and they automatically start moving accordingly. So those are the quadrants, one, two, three, and four. And we add number five, we become cinco terros, five points. So again, one, two, three, four, and here's five, five. And back to two, to three, to two, to three, to one, to five, to two, one, two. Right? Again. There is no sequence, only recognition. And that's the important part of it is that they don't memorize anything, they just react to it. Because if they do, you're teaching, a, you're teaching someone to be a lemon. You're, you're lead, leading them to the slaughter. So when, once we have those, we can either go to uh, points six and seven, which is the uh, a trust from the outside and trust from the inside. So if you add if you add all of, all of those, you now have seven points. But before you before you get there, you might want to start training the trainer. And the trainer is going to go one. So, so instead of doing a jump, you can do from here a subrata. Follow it up. And Sima. Right. So uh, you do all these uh, variations more on the trainer side. Uh, so you develop the techniques of the trainer as well. And then later on, with with with, with uh, points six and seven. We can do with a lap, what we call with a lap from here. Cut, cut, cut. Then thrust, cut. Um, so now we have one to seven. So if we reach and match, go. No. 
Right. So you can see that uh, we, tr we try to do it as randomly as possible. So no, so you, uh, Maestro? Before the issue, he has to react. Number five. Are you doing, um, are you doing Cursada on number five? Number five? Yeah. No, he's but, doing what we call, what we call salis, salisok or salibas, either going inward or going outward. So depending okay. on, uh, depending on my trajectory, boom. So slowly, so it's coming from, from the outside going yes. in. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Boom. But, or he can go, he can go from the inside, going out, boom. So again, and this is Pulalakao. This is Pulalakao. And I can do Sima, but he cuts in. I can do Sima, he cuts in. No, Sima, so you, yeah. Sima cuts in. But as a trainer, because I know what options he's got as, as I do this, I can I, I can nullify it from here. I can just either intercept or just block or go with it and boom. And that's where you develop the quattro compass movement, the quartermaster. So Maestro on this on the thrust six and seven are you doing australia oh yes do, do basically australia here and into planchada so australia to planchada okay okay and a number or, seven or, australia. or and here the same thing planchada or planchada. Okay. he can okay. do a rapido <laughs> So for me, if he does that, my my next option is Luma. For him, if he does that, my next option is Sumbrada. We're a little close now. Let's right. see that. Right, let's that. Let's let, 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 let do this one. Boom. There. Right. Boom. Right. Or we can do Australia and then close into a vertex. Boom. But the problem with the vertex is. When he goes in, I can beat him to it. From here, as he goes, I can beat him to it. That's why we try to avoid doing any uh, wind up or timbering because that gives a gap to your actions. The moment you have a gap, he'll seize the opportunity. Clip, claro. Um, Clip. Now, would you now on six or seven? Do you also on, on just just more on my curiosity? Uh, vertical. Oh, you can do that, uh, but actually, uh, it vertical or fraile, uh, uh, or also we call it aldabis. From 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 here, uh, you just cut underneath me. Hmm. So from here, very quick, and same thing with here, very quick. And when, as you say, what I, there's a lot to process here as a beginner. So you start off with just one counter, and then slowly you build on more as you get better able to read the situations, and um, and then you raise the level for your your feeder yeah. for your training partner. Yeah, because the, because the the leader or the mentor actually dictates the tempo. If you if you if you find that the, the that the student can cope with the challenges you're throwing, you keep putting more and more and more. And you keep reinforcing it. Like he may, he might have done it, but it's not satisfactory. So every now and then you repeat it until he gets the gist of the whole thing. Because remember, you're training them, you're teaching them. You're not trying to impress them. You're trying to teach them. So back in the training, you skip that. So I mean, I should say as a beginner, mm -hmm. even the first five or even the first four are really challenging, <laughs> not mechanically, like just striking and blocking yeah. those four angles is quite easy mechanically. 
it's the seeing it. And I know when I first started, I couldn't see it fast enough. Uh, and, and so a lot of the training is, it, it's not just learning the techniques, it's learning the reactions. Yeah. Those. Remember, uh, our te technique uh, demands a lot of things because you have to do the technique, you have to do the footwork, you have to do the dodging. There are so many things you have to combine to make it successful. And sometimes, if it's really, if it's really, really bad, we just stay with one and two until they get the hang of it. And then we add three and four, or just do three and four until they get the hang of it. Then we'll, we'll do one to four all together, scramble them until they get the feel of it, confident with it. Then we add the number five. And then, so we have one to five at ran, random sequence. The, the only thing that, uh, the only thing that uh, basically, the only rule that is important in Quattro Cantos is that when, when, when you do a strike, your hand goes from one side to the other. And that's where you start because you don't want to go from right to left and then bring it to right because the moment you do that, you open yourself up. So you continue from where your weapon is, continue with the next one, continue with the next one. Uh, rechambering or doing a vertex in some cases is good, but more often than not, it's not because the, the student already learns how to spot the openings. So when you create an opening, they'll see it. So there's a lot of um, a lot of very sound cognitive science behind mm -hmm. these these training drills. You know, so they're self-correcting. Um, in the sense of, you know, Ray's a great coach, but also um, there's a truth in the drill that just doing it with anybody will teach you. It doesn't have to be somebody from our style. If anybody attacks, they can only attack in certain directions, in right? Direction, because remember, they have, they have the same number of limbs of you. And actually, if and when they have a weapon, it is actually to their disadvantage because you know exactly where the attack is coming from. With empty hands, you're not sure whether they're going to punch with the left or the right, kick with the left, kick with the right. Too many options. But with weapons, once they hold they hold the weapon, you basically know it's going to come from that direction. So yeah, so once they've swung from left to right, it's got to come back from the right, unless it goes all the way around the head, which is which is slow, right? So you 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 learn a lot. Um, built into the drills. It's not so much that um, there are lessons that are taught, it's the drill teaches you to, and it just goes straight into your reactions, which, um, I, yeah, I really love doing the Quattro Cantos. It's a, it's a really great training yeah, and, technique. Uh, and uh, you, do, you do everything. You, you do your dodging, you do your weaving, you do your footwork, and you do your body weighing, because when you strike, you put your body weight into it to give more force, more power to your strike. Right? Don't use limb strength alone. Use your body weight. Use your body weight. Not necessarily body weight. Use your hips. 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 Any, any more, Dan? So, no, I mean, that's up to you. I, I mean, I, I'm thoroughly enjoying them, but I'll leave it up to you. If you want to show more, or I can go into, like, the books or whatever, you know? You disappear. You disappeared. You went ninja again. I did? Oh, there. Okay. Good. Yeah, good. I okay. think if, if people watching try this for themselves, okay. um, the it's not about, I wouldn't rush to build up a lot of techniques. I, I would, once you've got four, you've got enough for the random ordering to work. Mm -hmm. And that's where I think the real um, challenge is, is that you just don't know what's coming next. And right. well, uh, well, that's not quite well, true. No, you've cut down the set of things that are next. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. well, okay. you know what's so, coming next based on the based on the direction of his hand, whether it's on the outside or the inside. The moment they do a vertex, they're fair game. Mm. Yeah. So I mean, the, yeah, the, so, the, the, the moment they do a wind up or a chamber, he's, he's yours. He's yours. You take it. Yeah. 
So yes, that's your thank you. Intro. Did you have anything else you wanted to show? Well, we I did say that we're going to cover Tulisan, Balancas, and Cuatro Cantos, and I think we have enough that uh, they can start experimenting with those, find sure. out the principles, sure. because, yeah, because the absolutely. most important thing is for you to understand it, not memorize it, understand what's happening. Mm. If you don't understand mm. it, then you cannot apply it correctly. Right. If you understand right. it, then you know why you're moving in such a way, why it's going to come from that direction, why you can predict what could possibly be next. It's in okay. understanding it okay. that you discover things that are actually there, but it's up to you to, to find it yourself. Hey, Master yeah, Ray, I, mean, Master uh, Ray I, I just received a yeah, question. We we did, uh, Quattro Cantos is not spoon feeding. It's actually discovering. Yes. yes. Um, I just received a question. Does Master Ray have a favorite technique? Huh. Engano. I love Engano. <laughs> Engano. There you go, Carson. Yeah, I love Engano. 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 All yeah. right. In, you know why? Because I, I get bored waiting for them to attack, so I initiate the attack. Mm. Mm. That, uh, actually, that's uh, one of two first maxims, too. The best offense, uh, the best defense is offense. The best offense is two, offense. Like, uh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So uh, we're from Bakbaka. We fight. We yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah, right, right. You guys are not. Uh, you're not waiting. Yeah. Not waiting. <laughs> we're not waiting because, because because if you're waiting, the initiative is with the other guy. That's yeah. When he moves, yeah. you you're a microsecond late. Not whatever. No, it's true, right? Right. No, it's true. Can't but argue that. When you're the one initiating it, he's the one that's late. Yeah. 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 For sure. For sure. So it definitely. So, just a just offend. Yeah, and I I think uh, I think you guys know very well that I like it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's it's been actually great because everybody knows about feints, right? I mean that a feint's a great thing to do once you get a little bit more sophisticated. But you know, although I trained with a lot of people over the years, nobody really could actually explain how to do it. And um, Ray's really really clear about not actually throwing um, a lot of the time you might think you're kind of throwing and pulling back and it's not it's just about the body movement yeah, that, that, just sell the intention that's what that's what you're after sell the intention. Intention. make them yeah. believe it's coming you don't have you don't have to deliver it deliver something else that make them believe it's coming and do something else and Did then you know the second way? thing that he taught that um, really helped is, is these is these pivots that you know you can take a high arm and you know your arm this way your arm can be coming in high and it looks like it's high but then it pivots and it comes in low so you don't kind of go high and then come back out and try and go low because that's too slow to fool anybody it's mm. oh you think I'm coming actually I'm not I'm underneath you know yeah, and yeah. yeah yeah we I refer to that as the degrees of articulation. Oh, there we go. And from Thank here, you. my articulation oh, is from my shoulder. I can change the articulation from the elbow. Okay. Or from the wrist. So it comes in here. Hang on. Towards this me, is, I this is back to me. Okay. Yeah. So from here, you, you see the, the, the whole thing, the shoulder, Correct. the elbow, the arm is coming this way. Okay. But then I articulate here. And then come back with Abenico. Okay. Okay. And then that. Right. Hey, uh, Master so, Ray. Here, I just changed at the elbow. We got so, another question. These are your articulation. This is your. This is what you sell. Okay. You sell. Yeah, you're selling the, the, the shoulder deliver, and the arm. Okay. It's up to you whether yeah, it's yeah. at the elbow or at the wrist. Remember, we're okay. talking bladed weapons, not impact weapons. No, so, I know. So that yeah, slight right. the turning doesn't right. lessen the lethality of mm. the blade. It's, it's consistent. So if it's impact weapon, maybe I lose power, but not with a blade. Okay. No, thank you. Okay. I do have another question. I do have another question. Okay, Master Maestro Ray, okay, Master, what is Estrella technique? Estrella technique. 
What? What? From Lucky. Australia? Lucky. Australia Technique. Australia Technique. Australia. Australia Technique? Australia Technique? Yeah. Correct. Australia, well, Correct. The, the simple thing there is that this is the two person interpretation, Australia. What? What? When you do this thing, yeah, which is like an inside block yeah, in karate, right? Well, he's saying you have a star. That's what he's saying. You created a star, an intersection. And that's why they call it Australia. It's just a name. The thing is, it's an inside block or an outside block. Right? Now, now, now Filipinos being uh, created, or romanticize the whole thing, they just do Australia. Instead of calling it inside block and outside block, they call it Australia. But in our case, when we say Bulalakao, it's actually Australia with Lanchada. So when we say Bulalakao, you know it's going to be a vertical, a vertical block followed by a horizontal stripe, whether it's from the outside or inside. And those are names, you know, a rose is a rose, it's a rose for one of a name. Yeah, yeah, I know, right. Uh, that's the way it was explained to me, kind of star-shaped, you're either inside block, outside block, outside, you know? Yeah, you get, and uh, we, have, we have all these funny names. We have the Fraile, which uh, Fraile is actually for a priest, but, but when you do the Fraile, it actually, uh, sort of heresy because you're, you're making fun of the blessing of the priest. Bless you, child. Yeah, okay. Now you die. Okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, those no, are was, just no, cre creative, colorful names. Like, uh, remember the second technique in uh, Balancas, Bas Bas Hudas. Right? Bas Bas Hudas means uh, Judas, Judas's blessing or treacherous blessing because he's be giving you a blessing but actually attacking you. He's oh, like, bless wow. you, my child, now you die. <laughs> bless you, oh, my child, now okay. you die. Okay. Wow, that's great. Uh, oh, 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 they're colorful names. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, sure. yeah, yeah, sure. And like Salok like Savoy, which is a reverse, a figure eight. Okay, reverse figure eight. So, so up, upward cut, upward cut. But salok salway is meant to scoop, you know, like scoop and then yeah. throw. Yeah. Scoop and throw. Scoop and throw. So and you're doing the scoop, scoop and so throw. So the so you're doing the scoop, scoop and then you're throwing? Yeah. you're throwing? Yeah, it's like you have a dipper, you scoop the water, okay. then you throw it. Okay. Gotcha. So scoop gotcha. and throw. Scoop, scoop and, throw. and throw. Now the, okay. the counterpart of that is Magbabayo, which is actually the uh, pestle and mortar movement. When, when you know, you know, when they do this big pestle and mortar, boom, boom, boom. Oh, okay. <laughs> they, oh, okay. Right. But look, look at the motion. It's figure eight from the top. Figure eight from the top. The Salok mm. is figure eight from the bottom. So, Colorful uh, names, uh, but okay, they describe right. the uh, they they describe the action. Remember, I come from, from, the, from the area of Luzon. So most of our terms are uh, a hodgepodge of, of uh, Tagalog and Spanish. Not like uh, oh, in, uh, yeah. in, uh, in the middle part in Visayas and the South, most of the terms are Spanish and, and Visayan. So from where oh, I come okay. from, most of the terms are Tagalog and Spanish. Good. Okay. 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 So that's why when when you have two different styles getting together, they're describing the same technique with different names. Yeah, different because of the a dialect. Because he calls it something else, I call it something else. But mm. when we when we execute the technique, it's the same. The same. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Wow. No, okay. Excellent. So I did. Um, so I did. Um, before I get to the books, I just, um, the one question I sent you from, and by the way, the demos were fantastic. Thank you. From Elric regarding the Sinawali and all that from your area. 
of your area? That's Sinawali. What is the question? I think this the Sinawali. We couldn't quite hear you. Was that Sinawali? You oh, said? yeah, yeah. So, uh, Maestro, the question I sent you from, from Elric regarding the Sinawali. Oh, Elric, yeah. Well, well this, this Sinawali that I learned comes from uh, the uh, the province of uh, Pampanga and Bulacan because okay. they're nearby. They're like boundaries, right? And uh, if you look at classic Arnis, Placido Yambao is 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 uh, Pampangueño. He's from Pampanga, and Mirafuente is from Bulacan. So so these are people from Luzon. So this Sinawali is basically popular in Luzon in the Central Plains. Mm. And that's where the uh, uh, they actually had a name for it called Aduang Muton, the two sticks. Okay. So the uh, the the Sinawali I have is actually from the roots from from the school of Yambao, uh, Mirafuente, Galang. That's my uh, great great what whatever right. And uh, and I, I I learned this uh, this double technique from the, from uh, from my. Uh, what do you call it? My uncles and my okay. my my uh, okay. grandfathers. So, but they were uh, they were basically mostly type of a drill and set things. But I I uh, I sort of changed the perspective to make them into reaction, not just drills. Mm -hmm. That's why I remember I keep saying push the envelope because doing drills will give you motor mechanic, but it's not going to give you fighting skills because you don't have the reaction. You must, you must, uh, you must be challenged for it to become fighting skills. So I got all of this, uh, all of those techniques, but then I developed drills or applications that uh, bring out the essentials of these techniques. Mm. Okay. Like uh, okay. if you look at Lakbay Sinawali, that, that's the first. Uh, and that the first one that you learn in Sinawali, which is actually a, a terrible, a terrible form for a beginner because it's like 18 of them that you have to learn. And, and you're a beginner, like I can't even remember the first two. Yeah, that'd be overwhelming. So, that'd be overwhelming. Yeah, I would be yeah, lost. It gets overwhelming. So we start with them with, with the first one, you know, Magbabayo, that the that, 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 that figure eight, downward figure eight. Salok Sabay, upward figure eight. And then we have the Baguhan, which is like a, a letter C from the outside, inside, from the inside, outside. And then we have oh, the Bunut Kaluba now, which, which now makes it like, like the attack and drawing of the sword. So you, you do the attack, you draw the sword. So you have two sticks, attack, draw the sword. Mm -hmm. And then of course, after that comes heaven and earth, Langit and Lupa, which is common. One, two, three, type high, low, high, high, yeah, low, yeah, high. Yeah, yeah. After that comes redonda, which is from the top. Downward, 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 downward. The next one is uh, redonda salok saboy, which remember the salok saboy, the first figure eight. So you're doing redonda, but from underneath. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, then yeah. After okay, that, okay. Yeah, you, you start adding uh, setup to that. You have rapido redonda where you do uh, do two strikes and then follow with redonda. The first two strikes are basically to distract or disorient the opponent and follow mm -hmm. with redonda. And you can use the rapido with any of them. You can do rapido redonda, rapido salok saboy, rapido langit at lupa. Yeah, it's, it's like a prefix that you can use. Right? Okay. And then you have bukan liwayway, which is this high low. And then follow it up with redonda, salok saboy, langit at lupa, so high law. Then you have the cuerdas, which is the one we showed you, where, where you go on uppercut, then top. And you use it as a prefix. Remember, they don't have to be prefixes, they can be suffixes. So I can do redonda, then do rapido. I can put it at the, in front or at the end. Right, 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 okay, okay. okay. Yeah, right, L to B, okay, okay. <clears throat> And then we have uh, we have the uh, with the vertex langit at lupa with the vertex, which you can do because you have you have uh, two sticks. The, yeah. Because the mo yeah. the moment you do the vertex, the other hand is ready.
But if you yeah. if you have one stick and you, you do a vertex, you're exposed. You're exposed, yeah, right. Sure. But because you're using double stick, the other one works works as, as a defense. Mm. So they can sneak in between. So and, and then um, we have the uh, salicot, and, uh, and then we call it the, the, the lizard tail, where we do an augmented block, and then and then throw a wittick or 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 the lizard tail and follow it up with whatever you want with redonda. With heaven and earth, oh, with, okay. with the solid <laughs> right. and then you have the pluma. Pluma. From pluma, you can go into redonda. From pluma, you can go into heaven and earth. From from pluma, you can go into redonda solid subway. And these are variations on those things, because there is okay. there is okay. no set okay. rule that that uh, redonda only goes with this. You can you can incorporated anywhere, anywhere. Mm. The more you disorient the other guy, the better. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have what I, we call uh, Luha, Luha Redonda, which is, uh, we call Teardrop, which is a truss underneath, a control, truss over, and then follow it up if you want with Redonda. So oh, okay, truss underneath, truss on yeah. top. So basically, if, uh, let's let, 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 let's uh, Sure, I'll hide myself. Yeah. This is going to be single stick, right? So from here, boom, this is my truss. So from here, yeah. From here, boom. So I did a truss underneath, a truck, and then a truss over. I can't quite see. Again, Luha from here. One, check. Right there. And uh, well, the, there's a lot to cover because we have all these variations. Remember, Lakbay Sinawali is composed of 18 techniques, but those are not mm. only 18 techniques mm. because, like I said, you can do Rapido Redonda, Rapido uh, Salok Sapoy, Rapido Heaven and Earth. So you're already at three immediately, excluding yeah, yeah, the yeah, first okay. one, which plain Rapido, uh, plain Redonda. Playing uh, uh, heaven and earth, playing mm. Redonda Salok Savoy, reverse Redonda. So you have those three. Then you add the Rapido, right, right. you have six. You add uh, heaven and uh, Bukan Luaywai, which is sunrise, you have now nine. <laughs> and and so wow. it goes on and on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just you, you can have I infinite know. variations. Yeah. yeah, then it gets exponentially, it just gets crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, one, uh, one of the I things that uh, that's uh, our favorite hot pastry for double stick is what we call takti, which is the hornet, which actually uh, I need two sticks. Ooh. Right, the the, the it's, a, it, it's actually a, a free, free movement from here. So you go parry and thrust, parry and strike, parry and strike. Now we reverse it. Now it's the left hand that's attacking. Are we in thrust? Are we in strike? Are we in strike? So one, two, three. One, two, three. You know that with every movement, I'm either stepping in for the attack, stepping sideways for the block and counter, and sideways for the block and counter. Then with the other side, And that's called the hornet. I can read it. Yeah. No, it's great. Thank you. And and and, and uh, although that is not in the uh, Lakbay Sinawali, not not in the eighteen, it's part of the more advanced one. Okay. And okay. when when you remove the sticks, what do you have? When they punch, you have an uppercut, you have a block, a shooter, a knife hand, a block. Left hand. Right, okay, absence of stick, right? Uh, same thing. Weapon, yeah. same yeah. movement. But uh, uh, make note that every time we move, we will you move with a purpose. Yeah, none, move of this, right. uh, yeah. Charles, none of this charge something. Yeah, no, no, I mean, yeah, no, no, I mean, that was great. No, I do have another question now. I do have another question now. 
from Lucky. From Lucky. Did GM Illustrisimo teach, teach double, double stick? stick? Well, I, I was the I was I was the exponent of double stick in Bakbak and so they do double sticks. Uh, Yuli loves double stick. Uh, Tony Diego has double sticks, but they're not uh, from the same school of thought. And Ed, and Tupper has remember, like I told you, there were five of us different. We had all yeah, different yeah. methodologies, right? We shared whether they accept it or not is their prerogative. Yeah, yeah. Me, yeah, in my yeah. case, I wrote the book on it. So my thoughts and principles are already in writing. Mm. Mm. I, have, I have coded it, documented it, and it's there. It's there. I explain everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, in Bakbakan Kali, our, our primary training is always double stick because I want the limbs to be ambidextrous, to be ambidextrous. They don't have right. any dominant right. side. No, that makes sense. Right. Sure. Like uh, <laughs> I, I had a young student, very young, nine years old, something. Oh, we're learning how to do left and right. Oh, I'm, I, Master Ray, Master Ray made me ambiguous. <laughs> you mean ambidextrous? <laughs> oh, jeez, too funny. Too funny. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> so, um, no, this has been great. I just wanted to go. I just before we end. Um, again, those demos were were fantastic, and thank you. Just um, your books, like you, you. Put out a few out books out and, all and all that. Was your first book, book Sinawali? Yeah, Complete Sinawali that was published by Tuttle. And that okay. Uh, okay. that actually, uh, that whole book is only uh, one form. It's, a, one, it's form. Like okay. one form, then, that one form. Then, it's all in that one, yeah. Okay. And my next one was uh, Classic Arnis, which was a lot of this Pada Idaga from Placido Yambao and his group. Okay. But then okay. I showed that the sword and dagger came from Sinawali techniques. They came from double stick. So I had a section that shows how to do it with double stick. Okay, okay, okay. And then uh, in that book, I, uh, I had one form two that I added as, aside from the original Yambao, uh, Yambao drills, I added the Masupil, which is the, uh, a long form. It's mm -hmm. got a lot of techniques in it. And then I break it down. Okay. And okay. then uh, in Wario Arts of the Philippines, I think uh, we start a lot of stuff, and uh, most of the demonstrations are single stick, I think. But we did have some of the knife. And then in Masters of the Blade, of course, most of them are knife. You know, Master, you know, Master, you know, my, uh, Masters of the Blade. Yeah. I'm actually in it. I was with the RTNs. At the, time. We, at the time, yeah, and it's gonna be tough to see. Tough to see. But, but you were with the Atien Sakali. Yeah, yeah. I was okay. a Connecticut. What, rep. what page? Rep. Can you get one of the uh, Masters of the Blade? So again, it's gonna be kind of yeah. tough to see. What, but, what, what page um, number? Um, so it's page number sixty-four. Sixty-four. Yeah. Yeah, and what you're gonna see is all those pa all those pages, all those pictures on page sixty four. Hmm. Did you say sixty four? Sixty four, yeah. Okay. Okay. The one on the bottom, you're gonna see Torrington, Connecticut. Do you want it in Connecticut? Yeah, okay. Which one are you? I'm all the way towards the back, but that was my school. That was my school. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, so so you've been immortalized. Obviously, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> when I got this book, I got this book. And when I went throughout Tanza, at first, you know what's so funny? You know so I funny? didn't even I notice didn't it. Even because I, I just want, and then I think it was like the second or third time 
I looked at the picture on the bottom I saying 22 bottom. Connecticut. I'm like, holy crap. I go, that's me in the back. And that was my school. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, anyway, uh, uh, it, it was fun, fun doing that book because I got all this, uh, especially the, the people from, from Amok. You know, oh, Tom Sotis. With, with, with the blood rituals, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, he's, he's my uh, my instructor. Um, yeah, he's he's fantastic. Yeah. So what's coming down? What's coming down? So you got those books that you came. Just, just overall. And like, you know, and regarding all the books, what was your inspiration? Like, what was your inspiration for doing the books? For which one? Masters of the Blade? Uh, maybe all of them. I mean, I, well, yeah. Was, all of them I mean, were... Yeah. Uh, well, the first the first one was complete in Awali, because I was, uh, well, quote unquote, the foremost on on the Sinawali sin. Mm. Said, okay, let me do let me do that one since since okay. Since, okay. since I uh, I it uh, it turned out that I was the most knowledgeable, so I said, okay, that's my book. And then after that, by chance. Uh, we came across Placido Yambao's book, Rare Book, and I was looking at it, and a lot of people, uh, it, it's in Tagalog. The whole thing is in Tagalog. It's in Filipino. So a lot of people were trying to understand and translate it, and, you know, uh, Yambao, uh, Mira Puente, and the others, they were writing in archaic Tagalog, old, classical. It's like Shakespeare that teaching you mm -hmm. FMA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yeah. like you can yeah. make head or tails. So... So I, I look at I look at it I I and I translated it, but more than translate, I showed how it's done, how it's actually done bro broke down because they would have one picture and five paragraphs of narrative. <laughs> so, oh, you remember okay. the old the, the old Judo book where they have hip drop mm. and then you have to read the whole thing to understand what the hell it was. Yeah yeah yeah. So it was yeah, like that. Picture. So I broke it down and. Uh, not only did I break it down, I added materials to further understand the techniques. So okay. when we're when the, when we're doing the uh, and dagger, and I said, okay, that that will allow basically it's like parry cross control boom, but mm. it looks like different because they're holding a sword and a dagger. But replace the sword and dagger with two swords or two sticks, it's the same movement. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's uh, the, the, my inspiration was, was actually the challenge to, uh, to convert the book into something for the Western world. Oh, fantastic. Well, Just remember the little book is in Tagalog. Yeah. yeah. And then after that uh, is the uh, Warrior Arts of the Philippines, which, if you read the introduction, came about by accident. Because I was supposed to be uh, editing and expanding the book Masters of Arnis Kali and Screamer of Edgar after he died. I was look, working on it. I bought the rights from Alex Co. Alex said, fine, do it, expand it. So, so I started collecting materials, started uh, uh, laying out the whole thing. And then I informed Felisa, the wife of uh, the widow of Edgar, that I'm doing the uh, Masters of Arnis Kali and Screamer. And she went up in arms like, you have no right. That's not yours. I said, I, I, I bought it from Alex. Alex is not the owner of that book. I said, Alex is the publisher. Said, no, 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 no. You, you guys cannot have it. I said, oh, no. Okay. So I said, Alex, here, here, here's everything back. I want my money back. <laughs> I want my money back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not going to get into a squabble over this thing. I want my money back. Here, here take it. So, yeah. so, so yeah. Alex got it, gave the whole thing to Felisa, where it languished forever up to now. Yeah. Now, in the meantime, because uh, I was expanding the book, so I already had the original material. Uh, I had then the original materials. Then I had this expanded materials, which I solicited. Mm. And I said, what the hell will I do with this thing? So I'm looking at it and said, you know what? Uh, because it's incomplete, because uh, the bulk is gone. It's, it went to Felisa, the bulk is gone. 
and then I'm looking at my, at my new contribution and I said, you know what? I don't have to do what Edgar did, you know, because Edgar did like, I don't know, a few, a, a few dozen people. Yeah. And this one, yeah. I'm looking at it and said, oh, you know what? I can just concentrate on this. I had like, okay, I, 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 I've got Balintawak, I've got Illustrisimo, I've got Modern Ernest, mm. I've got, uh, who else? Uh, I forgot the others. Yeah. Anyway, so I ended up with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six people, Philemon Cañete and all that, and Lameco. And Lightning Scientific was there. So I said, okay, let me concentrate on these six groups. Okay. And then in, okay. and then in designing the, uh, can you get the Warrior Arts? In, design, in designing the cover, because sometimes I seek inspiration from the design. In designing the cover, I was looking at it and I said, okay, you know what? Yeah, it will be a tribute to these masters. Yeah. Because yeah. if you if you look at it, it's gray. Mm. I made it gray. Mm. And these these are my memorial to them, the tombstone. So I had the Nancy Bacon, Tatan, Ben Lima. Yeah. Uh, Remy Presas, Edgar Suliti, and Philemon Cañete at the back. Mm. And these are all dead people. So it was my Sad sixth man. sense. I see dead people. Yeah, so, yeah. folks who are, yeah. folks who are so what talking about right yeah. there. And actually, mm -hmm. and actually, I want to make a public I thank you to you, thank you for giving me this. I really, really appreciate it. Really it's really been I've been going uh, back. And the, forth, going the, back and forth. Don't be happy. Don't be too happy. I'll be testing you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, What's on page two ten? I'm gonna get an email <laughs> questionnaire. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's what happened. So that was uh, the Warrior Arts of the Philippines. And mm -hmm. then when we were doing the Warrior Arts of the Philippines promo. I got into all these people that were so interested in the knife, et cetera, et cetera. So I said, you know what? Uh, maybe I'll do a knife one. So I got into, another, into all this another, knife adherence, you know. Yeah. I had Bram Frank, Hochheim, everybody else, Amo, Atiyan Sakali, et cetera, et cetera. The only one I didn't have was uh, uh, Sayo Kali because uh, they were so proprietary about what they had. Like, he didn't want to share. Said, okay, okay, no problem. But they, but they okay, okay. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I've, I've heard, heard stuff heard like that. I was part of them I too. Of them too. <laughs> um, um, and I said, you know, I left for, you know, I left for personal reasons and all that. But they were in Mark yeah. Wiley's yeah. book. Um, so they could have been so that been private. I mean, that they definitely. Uh, definitely uh, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, um, I don't know. That's bizarre. But uh, but you had some fantastic. Had some fantastic. I mean, that book is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. You know, for those who anyway, so that's it. Who... And then now uh, I'm working on my fifth book. Like I said, like I told you, I'm not. I I like history, but I don't dwell too much on history. I'm more into the strategy, strategy and tactics and training. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I focus more on those because any, you can do a lot of research and do a lot of history, but it's not going to help anyone learn the martial arts. It will give them a broad Yeah, right, right. Your focus, right. No, your focus is on being a trainer and all that. Yeah. Right. History is not really. Right. I got you. Because uh, uh, what excites me is being able to train people mm. to make them build their reaction, to make them build their reaction reflexes and to recognize the possibilities, the options, and the penalties of doing the wrong thing. Yeah, right, the consequences. Yeah, right, the consequences. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what, okay. So um, okay. Um, it's actually kind of the same question. Uh, Carson, uh, Carson uh, will you ever do any more books? And the fact is, you have one, you're working currently on one now, correct? Yeah, on core. The combat-oriented okay. response and engagement and the legacy. Okay. okay. And, and and that's, I mean, with the whole COVID situation, I'm sure kind of delays, what have you. 
<laughs> Actually, it, uh, it turned out to be better because I'm expanding the uh, strategy and tech, tech, tactics. Oh, part. so it gave you more time. So because of more because time. of the COVID, uh, I bet I bet all my uh, training ideas with my with my guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. That's so, fantastic. Yeah. No. So that's, that's why gives you more. Everything I put in the book is not theory; it's been tested. Okay. Okay. No, that's great. I mean, that, I mean, if the, that's one positive thing that I, I guess you can say out of this COVID thing. It gave you more time to uh, to have what you want there, and whatever you know. I mean, that's a good yeah. thing. So, uh, so uh, just in case you don't, see, this is the complete Sinawali. This is the one by Tattle. Okay. This is the first okay. book. Complete Sinawali, right? And uh, when it came out, I was excited because it's my first book. Sure. Until I saw the layout and everything, I said, "You know what? I can do better than this." Uh, the, the way they did it. So, you know what? My second book, I designed and did the layout myself. I did that one, yeah. Right. And and all my books since then. Mm. No, I mean, I think for nothing, you know, everybody I've talked to, nothing but wonderful things about them. You know, so um, everybody, if I, everybody I spoke to, everybody I spoke speaks highly on them. Speaks highly on them. But, uh, but this has been fantastic. Um, what are future goals? What are future goals? So before we um, close out, Maestro, what are the future goals for you and Bakan Bakan Ali? Well, uh, the thing is, uh, I try to uh, I try to make my students become mentors, learn, understand it. That's why I have uh, Peter Lewis in UK. He does his own group. Mm. He's uh, mm. he's he's one of my senior instructor or the senior instructor for UK. I have yeah. Angelo Colierzi in Italy, and in Canada, I have Ramon Villardo. And do we lindo also to that's Bakbak and Kali among his curriculum? And then of course in the in the East Coast, I have a lot of my Bakbak and students there that are still pursuing. I'm sorry. Could you the East Coast? I'm sorry, who was that? I'm sorry, who was that? Who's on the East Coast? Hmm? Who's on the East Coast? East Coast? Well, East Coast, uh, my uh, uh, the the people practicing on the no sorry, sorry. east coast is uh, the New Jersey New York area yeah and, and, and I'm uh, sorry who's west that coast uh, west coast are mostly the Lameco people that incorporate uh, illustrismo and Bakba oh, okay, okay 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 yeah okay okay oh and you know again oh, it's not are. it's not that they are pure Bakba and Kali or pure illustrismo it that they incorporate because remember most of the uh, West Coast people are from Lameco. Yes, so my okay, acquaintances yes. anyway. Right. Most of them are Lameco, and uh, because they knew that I was a good friend of uh, Edgar, and they recognized our seniority in terms of mm. uh, Lameco. It was because after Edgar was Tuber and then me. Okay. But, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, we, we were not interested in, you know. Taking over the responsibility, we we, we, we felt that Lameco was best served by the seniors or the students of Edgar, yeah, not yeah. us, because I would be torn between two loyalties. Mm. Okay. So well, we stayed away from it, but we but we support all, all their activities. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, 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 no. Everybody knows that. Sure, sure. Um, Maestro, I did just get. Um, Maestro, I did just get. Couple more questions. Um, who are okay? Let me get the quick one out of the way. Who are Bakan Bakan in the Philippines? Besides, I mean, I mean, Dorian Sordo is still representing under Master Ricketts, but do you, who do you have in the Philippines? Well, as I from Lance, Dorian Sordo. Yeah. Yeah. Well. well because a, a lot of the Philippines are actually from Kali's Illustrismo from Tuper. Not from okay. Me. Okay. Right. So most of their uh, mo most of the Illustrismo style that you see in the Philippines are either from uh, Tuper or from Tony Diego. 
and maybe Correct. some that okay. were influenced by Edgar and Yuli Romo. So I don't I don't really have a foothold in the Philippines in in terms of Bakpakan Kazi. No, no, but, no. Okay. Well, but in terms of tournaments, I'm the one that's uh, that uh, takes care of the events and sponsors the events and conducts the events. Okay. Okay. So, and another question is, another question is it just came in. When uh, when Master Ray and Master, Master, Master uh, Tuber were developing the were teaching developing methods, teaching would methods. they get feedback they get feedback from the tongue? And if so, and if so, can you tell us a story about the process? Story about the process. Uh, did you and Tupa get feedback from Tatang as you were developing the teaching methods and the curriculum oh, yeah. and stuff? Yes. Have you got any stories? Oh yes, uh, actually, uh, so, sometimes you know, uh, the feedback is brutal. <laughs> it's like, it's like. A, what, why the fuck did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Uh, I, I remember because I, I'm, I'm a fairly very good uh, knife thrower. You know, I throw daggers, I, I throw axes and all that. Because that's a, a, a hobby. Oh, and, it's fun. Uh, yeah, it's one, fun. One, one of the things I did was when we were sparring, I would I would faint and then just throw the knife. And a lot of the time, I, I cut them, right? It's a, it's, a, it's a stone. Except one time I tried to do it with Tatang and he just deflected. Boom. <laughs> said, now what? You don't, <laughs> you, you don't have a knife anymore. <laughs> That's a story right there. I, I, told you, I told you it's brutal. <laughs> oh my <laughs> he's God. got a knife. I don't have anything. <laughs> I know against the most against feared, the feared and perhaps the best swordsman in the world, and you throw and yeah, and his thing is now what? Yeah, that would be pretty bad. <laughs> See, that was a great story. Um, but this has been fantastic. I mean, we went over, but it was well worth it. I thought the demos were excellent and all that. I, I appreciate you, you know, coming on twice for this. You know. Um, and the book, uh, of course, has been nothing but wonderful, you know. And uh, uh, any um, for the viewers or anything else? Any closing thoughts? Well, we'll we'll stick with the learn the fundamentals, practice the fundamentals, apply the fundamentals, and 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 when you start with the quattro cantos, learn the first the the, the quadrants first. The quadrants first. Learn to connect with the left. The upper right, upper upper right, inside right, lower left, inside left. Okay. Then at four. Okay. Then at Good number advice. five. At number six. At number mm -hmm. seven. Right. And as you get better, the leader will now instead of doing jams, you start doing actually blocks. Okay. Right. Okay. And and then later on, remember we restrict ourselves to the follow up as either one or two. Right, you they always the follow up is always one or two. I, I just block, I jam it, or I block it. Now change that so that the the other guy, whoever is the one defending or attacking, will change. Will use all seven if you can use all twelve. Use use all of them, but try to stick. Try to stay with seven. Seven. So seven. you have the uh, quadrants. Then you have the three points, you know, shoulder plexus, upper right shoulder, upper left shoulder. Mm. So you have the three mm. points. You have the triangle, and then when when you do that, you will find that you keep switching roles. I'm feeding suddenly now. I'm defending, feeding, defending. You, you keep switching roles. Okay. And you okay. can only do that after both of you are uh, familiar with okay. the okay. techniques. Okay. Otherwise, you're just uh, you're just doing mutual suicide. Mm. Mm. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, right. Ooh. there's a really nice continuum with uh, Quattro Cantos where you go from being a beginner, just learning the basic angles, basically through to sparring. Um, okay. Okay. And that, and I think that's again one of the strengths of of Ray's system is that 
when I've studied with other people, you learn the basics and then you jump straight to sparring. And um, most of us just, you know, try and get our hands in the way not to get hit, right? There's no flow and bobbing and, you know, sliding to the outside and stuff. But because you can advance in these such small increments with the mm. Quattro Cantos, mm. you, can, you can start doing that. You can start flanking. You can start interrupting the timing. You can um, <laughs> start learning to faint, yeah, you know, all, right. these, all these things and slowly build up the game. Yeah, um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an ardent fan of Sanchu. The, uh, the art of war is deception. That's why I love Engano. Deception. Oh, no, it's great. No, thank you for that no, thank you for explanation. That. I just got another question in. So this is from Guru Vico. Hi, Master Ray. Do you miss Master Tuber, Master Edgar, Master Alex, and Master Tony? I do. I do. I'm not sure. You remember the photo that I sent you, the one with Alex? Come. No, I met a fact. I made a point on the flyer. Yeah, no, but but I gave it to you. I gave it to you. Correct. Right? right. If you look at that, I am the last man standing. No, I know it's almost like too sad. To Actually, talk to I, I got a I got a text from Yuli, Yuli Romo, uh, on the mm -hmm. last interview, the previous interview. He said, "Correct, Ray, the lawana lam tayo." It was Ray. There's only two of us left. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're the only we're the only two living. Among the five. I know, I know. That's why I'm so happy to get you on and I've gotten Master Yeah, I know. On. I you told you, have... do this thing before my expiry date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. In the first, in the first interview, um, before you expire. Yes. And that's when we determined you're not funny, but witty. <laughs> you preferred witty. But no, that was a that was a, um, right, so, a fantastic. So that's picture. it. Hopefully, uh, the people watching uh, have pick up something, learned something, or at least oh, yeah, uh, sure, absorb sure. between the both. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So maestro. So the same thing here, like last time. I'm gonna download it to YouTube, and I'll post it to your wall, just like last time. Just like last time. He's gonna send you a copy. He's gonna no. He's gonna send you a copy of the mm. of the interview. Yeah, well, yeah, if you could, yeah. Okay, oh, uh, yeah, no, no, like yeah, I'm because, not because, because, yeah, I was, I was trying to download it from uh, YouTube. Sure, it, it, it's going sure. through through analysis forever. <laughs> never got it. <laughs> no, never got it yet. Oh, okay. I can definitely oh, send. Okay, okay. I can definitely send. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'll send you both of them. You want me to send both of you to Messenger? Through Messenger? I'm yeah, from the YouTube version. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'll find it on your site and on your wall. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, or that too. But yeah, or that too. But yeah. it'd be easily, easily done. I want to thank yeah. you both. Oh, thank oh, you both. by the way, by the way, is there a way to uh, is there a way to download the comments? You know, you, you, you know, know how you get these uh, live comments going on? Yeah, yeah, I know. They'll, they'll, yeah, yeah, um, they'll, 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 they'll still be on my wall. They'll still be on my wall. Okay, but uh, some, some when I look at the wall, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. So they should be there. No, like your last interview's comments were there, too. They, they should definitely still be there. If not, I can copy and paste them to you. Okay, that may be better. Save okay. with the... Uh, save okay. with the uh, Effort, the grief, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. But I want to thank you both so much. Thank you both so much. You're welcome. My pleasure. Oh, okay. You. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. Maestro. So I'll, with that, Maestro I'll, be, I'll be in touch. I got to send you um, um, something for the book. So I'll, 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 send I'll send that off to you. I'll send that off to you. Okay. Good. Thank you. Regards right, to all, all right. okay. Well, you know what? Uh, a lot of those people, uh, they've probably seen it in uh, some of the videos, but we have the uh, Fry Salute from Bakbakan, Bakbakan Kali, Karunungan. Well, let me, uh, let me, let me right. here. It's uh, Karunungan, Katapatan, Katarungan, which is knowledge, 
loyalty, justice. Oh, okay. And, uh, oh, okay. Our colloquial version is learn well, train hard, fight easy. <laughs> Oh, I like that. Okay. Like thank that. you. Okay. Thank you. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. But I want to thank you for your time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, we'll be in touch. Okay. We'll be in touch. Um, okay. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Thank I you. Hope, uh, yeah, thank you. I hope uh, I was able to impart some knowledge. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. You absolutely All right. did. Bye. You absolutely did. All right. Take care, guys. Right. Thank, thank you. Care, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, so that wraps up uh, two episodes with uh, Master Ray. So this one will be uh, downloaded soon and put on YouTube. Um, who's coming up next? Tuesday, I think uh, Maestro John Escudero, and that will be on um, uh, Lightning Scientific, uh, our niece. And Thursday, uh, I think it's a double header actually. I got Burton Ray, I mean, I'm sorry, Burton Dwight, Steve, and then Grody, and then in the evening, um, Ray Dionaldo, I believe, uh, to on Ray. So yeah, so but I'll be coming out of that soon. So again, if you haven't, I uh, hit like and uh, subscribe to FMA Discussion on YouTube. Uh, thank you all so much for those who are sending questions and tuned in in the comments. Thank you. <laughs>